नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एक्स कंपनी हैज मेड प्लान फॉर द नेक्स्ट ईयर इट इज एस्टिमेटेड दैट द कंपनी विल एम्प्लॉय टोटल असेट्स of rupees 8 lakhs 50% of the asset being financed by borrowed capital at an interest cost of 8% per year the direct cost of the for the year are estimated rupees 4 lakh 80000 and all other operating expenses are estimated rupees 80000 the goods would be sold to the customers at 150% of the direct cost Highlight the portion. Tax rate is assumed to be fifty percentage. You are required to calculate net profit margin, means net profit ratio, ROA, return on asset, asset turnover ratio, and return on owner's equity. That is also called return on net worth. It is one and the same. Please go through the question, all of you. let us read the question once again <clears throat> everybody is requested to pay attention x company has made plan for the next year it is estimated that the company will employ total assets of 8 lakhs so let us visualize this as the balance sheet we have been provided with the information that the total assets is 8 lakhs Fifty percent of the asset being financed by borrowed capital. So we have been provided with the information that say there is a debt financing to the extent of fifty percentage. So at the rate of eight percent, so eight percent debt financing. It is an amount of four lakhs. It is eight lakhs into point five. That is four lakhs. The direct cost for the pro for the year are estimated four lakh eighty thousand. Direct cost is four lakh eighty thousand. Other operating expenses eighty thousand. Goods will be sold to customer. At one fifty percent of the direct cost, so sales is four lakh eighty thousand into one fifty percentage. That comes to seven lakh twenty thousand. so we can very well understand over here you don't have to write anything let's just understand that the sales is 720 direct cost is 480 and uh, so other expenses are 80000 so ebi is 60000 i'm sorry 160000 operating income is 160000 Four lakh rupees is the debt financing. Eight percent is the rate of interest. So this is thirty-two thousand. Earning before taxes one lakh twenty-eight thousand. Income tax rate is fifty percentage. So earning after taxes is sixty-four thousand. This is what we understand. now going one by one with the question the first question is what is the net profit ratio so we can understand that say this is the net profit 64000 divided by sales 720000 64 divided by 720000 into 100 so the profit is i'm sorry net profit ratio is 8.89 percentage first question answer second is the return on the that is on asset that is what's the second question that they have provided friends over here 
the question is silent about the remaining portion of the liability side. Whatever is the total assets itself is the total liabilities. However, the question is silent regarding the bifurcation of this 8 lakhs so between equity share capital and current liabilities. So an assumption is made that say the equity financing is 4 lakhs. Now return on asset can be calculated either on the pre-tax basis or it can be calculated so on post-tax basis. So over here say we will make calculation in either of the way. So if at all we make it on the pre-tax basis, it is EBIT upon capital employed. What is EBIT? It is 1,60,000. And what is capital employed? Capital employed is 8 lakhs. And 200 for getting answer in percentage term. So 1,60,000 divided by 8 lakhs into 200. That comes to 20%. So, with respect to the return on asset, clarity should be given to us in the question whether it is supposed to be found on pre-tax basis or it is supposed to be found on post-tax basis. In absence of an information, we can do answer by either of the way and we can put a note for the same. The third question is asset turnover ratio and the last question is return on equity. Asset turnover ratio is sales upon assets. 0.9 return on equity 64,000 divided by 4 lakhs and 200 16 percentage. Please write an answer the question. Working note number one calculation of amount of debt financing. Please write an answer. Total assets into 50 percentage. Total assets is 8 lakhs into 50 percentage. That comes to 4 lakhs. Working note number two, calculation of net worth slash equity in the write down, assuming that current liabilities is 0, comma, answer is calculated. Total assets minus debt. Eight lakhs minus four lakhs. That comes to 4 lakhs. Working note number 3. Calculation of sales and earning after taxes. Column number 1 particulars. Column number two, answer. In that, we will start with the sales. In that, direct cost is 4,80,000 lakh 80, into 150 percentage. That is the sales value. That is 7,20,000 lakh 20,
less direct cost. Four lakh eighty thousand less other operating expenses. It is an amount of eighty thousand. Deducting both of them from the revenue, we get EBIT seven lakh twenty thousand minus four eighty. Minus eighty, one lakh sixty thousand. Less interest. Amount of debt financing is four lakhs, and the rate of interest is provided to us eight percentage. That comes to thirty two thousand. Earning before taxes, one twenty eight. Income tax rate is fifty percentage. This is a way we compute EAT. So, based on this working, we are required to calculate the final answers. The first question is net profit ratio. It will be calculated as net profit upon sales into hundred. Net profit is earning after taxes. Divided by sales into hundred. Amount of earning after taxes is sixty four thousand. Divided by the sales value. Sales value is seven lakh twenty thousand. Into hundred. So sixty four thousand divided by seven lakh twenty thousand into hundred. So the answer is eight point eighty nine percentage. That is the first question answer. Second is return on asset. In the trade down. in absence of an information comma we assume that it is to be calculated On pre-tax basis, put stop. In bracket write down. We may find on post-tax basis. So the answer would be earning before interest and taxes divided by net worth plus debt. Amount of the operating income is one lakh sixty thousand. Net worth is four lakhs.
debt financing is also 4 lakhs. So that comes to 8 lakhs. 160 upon 8 into 100 for getting answer in percentage term. That comes to 20 percentage. That an answer. Next question. Calculation of asset turnover ratio. The student asset turnover ratio is indicating what is the sales that you are able to generate for every one rupee of the asset in the business. So, read an answer. Third question. Asset turnover ratio. It is sales upon assets. Sales is 7,20,000 and asset is 8 lakhs. So it is 0.9 times. That is asset turnover ratio. Next is return on owner's equity. It is also called return on net worth. Return on equity. It is profit after taxes. Divided by equity. In 200. The amount of the profit after taxes is 64,000 and amount of the equity is 4 lakhs. So 64,000 divided by 4 lakhs into 100. That comes to 16 percentage. Please write an answer. So let us have understanding of uh, this entire question summarized. In the first working note, we have computed the amount of the debt financing. Total assets is 8 lakhs and 50% is debt. So that is 4 lakhs. Second working note is the net worth of the equity. Out of total assets, 50% is debt. That is 4 lakhs. Total assets and the total liabilities would be same, 8 lakhs. From that, 4 is deducted. So the remaining 4 is net worth on equity. Third working note is the sales and the earning after taxes. Amount of the direct cost is provided 480000 Sales value will be 150% of the direct cost that is 720. Other operating expenses are 80000 Deducting these two expenses from the revenue, we find earning before interest and taxes. From that, so the interest is deducted at the rate of 8% on 4 lakhs. EBT minus tax is EAD. Now, after preparing these working notes, we find the NP ratio, net profit upon sales in 200. Net profit is 64,000, sales is 7,20,000. That comes to 8.89 percentage. Return on asset. In that, say we are making the calculation operating income divided by net worth plus debt financing. That comes to 20 percentage. Asset turnover ratio. It is sales upon so the assets. It is indicating that say, what is the sales of the company for every one rupee of the asset in the business. It is 0.9. And the last is return on owner's equity that is profit upon equity into 100 that is 16 percentage.